Let's go! Okay. So, I just thought of a banger of a fucking story to tell you guys today. Alright, so. This. Little backstory on myself, okay? The thing is. All I do when I go out to parties, man, is make these fucking weed brownies, right? And I bring them with me. And I don't touch anything else. Fuck alcohol, man, alright? And this is the story that, that, that is a reason uh, for why I don't drink, man. Fuck alcohol. I do not drink. Never again. Okay, so. Whew, let me set the scene, man. It's my birthday, right? I mean, it's gonna be my birthday tomorrow. It's Saturday, my birthday's on Sunday. So, this day, man, I'm like planning a party for the night, man. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have a party tonight, Saturday night, and tomorrow I'm gonna spend my birthday with my family because my great, uh, my uncle and my aunt came to visit me in, Fran in, uh, in Switzerland. And uh, so I was gonna spend my actual birthday with my mother, my best friend, my uncle, and my aunt. And I was gonna spend Saturday night the night before my birthday with my friends, drinking for the first time. Didn't work out that way. So basically, this is what happened. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to this party, man. It was like six or something. I wanted to be there to, 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 to get shit ready, right? So I passed by a store on my way up to, to the woods where I was gonna throw this party, man. And I passed the store and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna need a hell of a lot of beer, bro. So we buy maybe like 150, 200 beers, bro. And I'm like, all right, you know, should be enough. And we head up all the way to the woods, man. And uh, we get to the woods. There's like this campfire in the middle of this of this wooded area, but it's still a little like there's a clearing. You can you can sit down. There's a little there's a little rock. Uh, next to the fire, there's a log, and there's this little cabin uh, right next to the fireplace. So it's a pretty chill place, right? You have, you know, you can be there, uh, and no one's gonna come and, you know, fucking disturb the peace or whatever. So we get there, man. We take out the beers and shit. We're like, dude, we're gonna have a hella nice time, man. It's gonna be hella fresh, bro. We got some peeps coming in. I texted so many people that night. Uh, cause I was like, bro, you should come, you should come, you should come, you should come. I was like, Oprah, giving out cars, man, except that I was giving out invitations to get fucked up, man. I was like, you're getting fucked up, you're getting fucked up, you're getting fucked up, man. And some of them responded, some of them didn't, you know. Um, so back to the story. We're in the woods, we're getting shit installed, right? And I'm just having a good time, I'm drinking a beer with a friend, man, with my best friend. And we're just talking, man, about all the crazy shit that we're gonna do. In the future, uh, mind you, that I had no idea where my life was heading back then, but I was still having a good time, man. I was just L I V I N living, right? So I'm just there, man, sipping my beer, looking at my phone to see who's coming, right? And sure enough, like 20 minutes after we got there, people started showing up. So they were my friends from uh, from 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 the town I lived in in Switzerland. Um, some friends from, from, from the town where I went to school in, which was like so far away. Um, some dudes from Zurich and they all show up, man. We're just having a good time. I'm drinking a beer with him. I'm drinking a beer with her. I'm drinking a beer with him. And I thought to myself, you know what? To avoid getting too fucked up because the next day I was going to spend the whole day with my family. I was only going to stick to beer because logic, right? Didn't work out that way, so, yeah, what ended up happening was like two hours later, I was fucked up out of my mind, man, it was only like nine o'clock, bro, and I'm just like sipping my like tenth beer, I'm like, oh, all right, so how are you been, how have you been, and then boom, a friend shows up, man, I haven't seen this dude in so long, his name's Rex, we're calling him Rex, so he shows up, man, and he brings this he brings a hell of a lot of weed, bro. And he's like, all right, dude, I got a plan. He takes the shisha that a friend of mine brought. Let's call this friend who brought the shisha mod. He brought a shisha. Now, Rex takes the shisha. He puts a little bit of weed in it. Bad idea. 
Because 30 minutes later, I'm, I'm all the way over there on the fucking rock talking to a friend of mine, just sipping my beer. When I hear, dude, what the fuck, man? And I turn back and I'm like, what, what's going on, man? Is there a fight, you know? Kind of excited because it doesn't love a fucking fight. We all pretend we don't, but we love it. So, dude, I run over to him, to Maude, because he was the guy screaming. And I'm like, oh, what's the matter, man? What's, you know, what's the matter? This guy's like, dude, Rex fucking burned my shisha, bro. I look at the thing and I just see the tube, like the tube where people inhale. Uh, just, it's like melted and burnt and shit. And I'm like, what happened, bro? He's like, this idiot tried to fucking put weed in the shisha. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing, right? So I'm just there laughing my ass off, man, drinking another beer. And uh, sure enough, it caught up to me, dude. 20 minutes after that last beer, which was probably like my 11th beer. Um, I'm like, I'm starting to sway in the wind, right? I'm getting real unstable. And I'm, I'm just like, dude, this is fun, man. And then, baff. I just like see black in my memory is just black and it feels like really warm and I feel like like this warmth just just emanating off my skin right and I'm just like oh this is kind of nice but it was also like kind of too hot like in the shower when you when you when you put it to like it's like the max and it feels good but it kind of burns yeah I mean of course it burns but it feels kind of good too I was just there like oh this is kind of nice man it's kind of nice and then I just feel like a tug and and scraping all over my back and stuff. And I just like, well, what, what happens? And I get like pulled up and I'm standing and I'm like, what the hell happened? And it's Rex. He's like, dude, I had to pull you out of the fucking fire, man. You fell into the fucking fire. The campfire was on. It was in the middle of everyone in the middle of the party. And I just fell in that shit, just laughing my ass off. So I'm like, oh my God, this is bad. He's like, you know what, dude, I'm going to watch out for you, man. This guy, this guy's a fucking legend. Rex, you know who you are. If you're watching this guy's from Holland, he's, he's my man. So, um, this guy just like saved my life, right? So I'm like, I'm there like, oh my God, like that was fucking stupid. He's like, all right, dude, I'm going to watch out for you. I'm going to tell you something. You have to, you have to obey me. Okay. Now by this point, it's like 11 o'clock and he's like, all right, you're not going to drink anything until 12. I'm like, all right, I can do that. He's like, okay, starts the fucking timer. And true story. I stood there for an hour waiting for the time to pass man i was just like there looking at the fire looking at the people hella blurry man just like my eyes were closing this headache was coming in man it's like pounding here man i was like oh what's going on my eyes started getting real watery and i was getting real like 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 my knees were starting to shake man i was like dude i don't feel too good man and at like 11 45 i look beyond the fire and i see a good friend of mine, man. Let's call this guy. Let's call this guy Nick. He just falls down smack onto a rock, man. Onto the rock where people are sitting. This guy's passed out drunk, bro. Now, people come over to help him and shit. And I see this and I kind of want to go over there. But I can't because if I move, I'm going to fucking vomit, dude. Now, boom, it's 12, bro. And I'm, the only thing on my mind is getting another fucking beer out of the case, out of the 250-something beers that we brought, man. So I grab myself a beer, crack that shit over, and I'm just chugging that shit, right? And Rex is like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, it's 12, man. So I'm just like chugging, 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 right? And then I don't feel too good, man. So I run out to the woods, man, deeper into the woods. I kind of fall, scrape my knees, bro, and I just start vomiting man projectile vomiting i've only like like puked like four times in my life and that was one of them man i just start going rah, rah, on the floor I'm like they're like trembling and then this girl a friend of mine like i see her leave the party pass me by look at me go like go back and that's the moment i knew dude i fucked up so i go find my best friend i'm like dude we gotta head home dude's hella fucked up as well bro we're chilling together he's like don't worry man you'll be fine i'm like nah dude we gotta head back to the crib right because he sleeps in my house uh sometimes and so basically what we do man is we grab our shit and and so he's, he's like saying goodbye to people because he's like still fucking fluid in his head, man. I'm like all over the place. I'm fella fucked up, dude. By this point, I'm probably like at, 
at like on the scale like at a 14 out of 10 man like four notches over where you want to go man so i'm fucked up bro and i start like running i literally start running out of the woods man i'm just running i'm, I'm pacing i'm pacing and i see these lights i remember seeing these lights and feeling some wind in my face you know and hearing honking and the next memory i have is just being at the train station of the town i i, I lived in right and the fucked up thing about that is man that the train station is like, it's like a fucking mile away from where I was. So I just ran a mile downhill on a road, by the way, where cars can go pretty fast. And I'm there like, oh, what's going on? Okay, this is weird, right? So I come back with another like friend that I picked up at the train station. I think that I was going to pick him up and I just forgot that I was going to pick him up. I just started pacing towards the train station. So I go back up with him. I tell my friend, we, I tell my, 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 uh, my best friend, we still need to leave because I don't feel good. So I leave my friends there. And uh, by this point, Nick is like starting to, 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 to wake back up, right? I'm just getting more fucked up at that time, right? He's getting better. I'm going the other fucking direction, man. So basically, my dude's like, my best friend's like, all right, dude, we're going home. He's fucked up too, though. So we're kind of walking hand in hand, man. Just like, uh, uh, <laughs> we're walking down all the way to the train station, bro. We pass the train station and I tell him, like, there's this big dumpster behind the train station. And I tell him, dude, I want to go in there. And he's like, what? And I'm like, I want to go in there. So he helps me up into the dumpster, dude. And I just lay there in the trash. And I'm like, oh, this is good. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But it was still, like, good to be lying down uh, as drunk as I was. So I get back out that dumpster. And we walk another fucking mile to my house, dude. By the time we get there, I was in such bad shape, dude, that I just went up the stairs to the bathroom in the second floor, opened it, and just started ralphing, dude. And I'm like, fuck, man, this is bad. My mom's there, and it was fucked up, dude. It was fucked up.